Hello Keystone Investors, welcome back to another video. In the ever-evolving world of finance, there is a new player making waves. Decentralized Finance, commonly known as DeFi. At its core, DeFi aims to recreate traditional financial systems like lending, borrowing, and trading, but with a twist. Instead of relying on intermediaries like banks or brokers, DeFi operates on blockchain technology, specifically on platforms like Ethereum. This means that all transactions and agreements are managed by smart contracts, which are self-executing contracts with the terms of the agreement directly written into code. It's a revolutionary approach, offering more transparency, accessibility, and control to users. Now let's take a step back and think about a foundational concept in finance, collateralization. In traditional finance, collateralization is like a safety net. Imagine you want to borrow money from a bank. The bank needs assurance that you'll pay back. So you offer something valuable you own, maybe your house or a car as collateral. If you don't pay the loan, the bank has the right to take that collateral as compensation. It's a way to secure loans, ensuring both parties are protected. In the world of DeFi, this concept takes on a new dimension with crypto assets like Bitcoin or Ethereum serving as collateral. But why is this significant and how does it all work? As we delve deeper, we'll uncover the intricacies of crypto asset collateralization and its transformative impact on the financial landscape. Venturing further, we come across the unique mechanics of crypto collateralization. In the traditional world, when you offer something as collateral, it's typically a tangible asset like property or a vehicle. But in the realm of DeFi, it's digital assets like Bitcoin or Ethereum that take center stage. So how does this work? So imagine you have some Ethereum and you need some liquidity, but you don't want to sell your Ethereum. Instead, you can lock up your Ethereum as collateral on a DeFi platform and receive a loan in a stable coin like DAI or USDC. This allows you to access funds without parting with your crypto assets. The amount you can borrow is typically a percentage of your collateral's value, ensuring that the loan is over-collateralized. This over-collateralization is crucial because of the volatile nature of crypto assets. It provides a buffer, ensuring that the lender is protected even if the value of the collateral drops. But what's truly groundbreaking about DeFi lending platforms is the automation and transparency they bring. Everything is managed by smart contracts, there's no paperwork, no lengthy approval processes, and no need for credit checks. It's finance democratized, making lending and borrowing accessible to anyone, anywhere, as long as they have an internet connection. However, with all its advantages, it's essential to understand that crypto collateralization isn't without risk. The crypto market is known for its volatility. A sudden drop in the value of your collateral could trigger a liquidation event, where the platform sells off a portion of your collateral to ensure the loan remains secure. It's a mechanism to protect lenders, but it underscores the importance of being aware and proactive when using these platforms. Now let's delve into some real world applications that are pioneering the way for crypto collateralization. The DeFi landscape is dotted with platforms that have taken the concept and run with it, each bringing its own unique flavor to the table. One standout platform is MakerDAO. At its heart, MakerDAO is a decentralized credit platform on Ethereum. Users can lock up their Ethereum as collateral to mint a stablecoin called DAI. What's fascinating about DAI is that it's pegged to the US dollar, offering stability in the often turbulent crypto market. The entire system is governed by smart contracts, ensuring transparency and fairness. Then there's Compound, another trailblazer in the DeFi lending space. Compound allows users to lend and borrow a variety of crypto assets. When you supply assets to Compound, you earn interest. Conversely, if you're borrowing, you'll pay interest. The rates are determined based on supply and demand, ensuring a dynamic and responsive system. But why are these platforms gaining so much traction? At the core, it's the benefits they offer. Users get instant access to liquidity, often at competitive rates. 
There's no need for intermediaries, reducing costs and increasing efficiency. Plus, the decentralized nature ensures that the system is open to all, breaking down barriers that often exist in traditional finance. Yet, as with all financial systems, it's crucial to tread with caution. While DeFi platforms offer numerous advantages, they're not without risks. From the volatility of the crypto market to potential vulnerabilities in smart contracts, users must be informed and vigilant. In essence, the world of crypto collateralization and DeFi lending platforms is a testament to the transformative power of blockchain technology. It's redefining the boundaries of what's possible in finance, offering a glimpse into a future where financial systems are more open, transparent, and inclusive. Now diving deeper into the mechanics of DeFi lending platforms, it's fascinating to see how they operate. At the heart of these platforms are smart contracts, which automate the lending and borrowing processes. When a user wants to borrow, they first deposit their crypto assets as collateral. The platform then assesses the value of the collateral and determines how much the user can borrow. It's a dynamic system with loan to value ratios ensuring that loans are always over collateralized. This is a protective measure given the volatility of crypto assets. Interest rates on these platforms are another intriguing aspect. Unlike traditional banks where rates are often set in stone, DeFi platforms have rates that adjust in real time based on supply and demand. If more people are lending and fewer are borrowing, interest rates might decrease and vice versa. This dynamic system ensures that the rates are always market driven, benefiting both lenders and borrowers. However, as with all innovations, there are risks and challenges. The decentralized nature of these platforms means there's no central authority overseeing operations. While this offers freedom, it also means users must be extra cautious. Smart contract vulnerabilities have been exploited in the past, leading to significant losses. Additionally, the volatility of the crypto market can lead to rapid liquidations if the value of collateral drops too quickly. It's essential for users to be aware of these risks and stay informed about best practices to mitigate them. Now looking ahead, the horizon is bright for crypto collateralization and DeFi lending. As more people become aware of the benefits, we can expect increased adoption. Innovations are continually emerging, with newer platforms offering even more advanced features. The integration of artificial intelligence, better oracle systems for price feeds, and enhanced security protocols are just a few areas where we might see advancements. The goal is clear, to create a robust, secure, and inclusive financial system that operates without borders. In conclusion, the realm of decentralized finance, with its focus on crypto asset collateralization, is truly a marvel of modern financial innovation. It's a world where traditional banking barriers are being dismantled, replaced by transparent, efficient, and inclusive systems. Platforms like MakerDAO, Compound, and Av are just the tip of the iceberg, showing the transformative potential of DeFi lending. However, with all pioneering ventures, it's essential to tread with knowledge and caution. The decentralized landscape offers unparalleled freedom, but it also comes with a set of challenges. By staying informed and understanding the intricacies of these platforms, users can navigate the DeFi space confidently. As we stand at the cusp of this new era, one thing is clear. The future of finance is decentralized and it's unfolding right before your eyes. That's it for today's video and I'll see you in the next one.